Hey guys, welcome back to the homestead. So, engineering department at midnight told me they have the arc fault detection and everything working, and they want me to test that. So the unfortunate event of testing an arc fault is about the only way to do it is to create an arc. But that's fortunate for you guys. So what's supposed to happen is this is supposed to go to resting. And I'm going to go ahead and shut this guy off. So we have just a single unit in the system. Now, we'll wait for everything to settle in. There we go. So you'll notice we got a single Hawks Bay making 980 watts. So what should happen when I create an arc is this should go to resting. Now it does take a fair amount of current to create an arc and we only have 1000 watts. So that's only, I don't know, that's way too much math for my little brain today. But it's somewhere around maybe like 5 amps coming from the array. So right on the borderline. So this, what I've done here is I've taken my PV wire coming in. I put a short piece of wire out of the breaker and I put a wire nut on it. So we're going to undo that. And we're going to start creating an arc. Yep, you see it went to resting. So the one thing I've noticed, and you see i got no arc anymore. So arc fault is not supposed to heal by itself. But the one thing I noticed is it didn't actually display an arc fault up here. It's supposed to actually display an arc fault at the same time. It's supposed to take over the screen and tell you arc fault and uh, let you know you got a problem. So I'll have to report that as a bug to engineering. But that's, uh, yeah, that's how we test arc fault. You'll notice that it pretty much won't come back now until I power cycle it. It's, a, uh, it's not a self-healing fault. Like ground fault is considered a self-healing fault by code. And you can, if you have a ground fault, you, and it goes away, the unit can go back to work. It just has to uh, let, let you know there's an active fault. So if there's an active ground fault, it has to display something, a light has to come on. It has to do something to let you know that. An arc fault, on the other hand, because it is considered a fire hazard, is not allowed to be self-healing. So the only way an arc fault can be cleared is through some kind of manual intervention. You can have a button push or you can have something else. So that's that's uh, the difference between those two. But anyhow, just a quick short video. We wanted to show you how to test for an arc fault. Maybe we'll bring you back here in a little bit and do a video on how to test for ground fault. 